Now, as most of you may know, iOS 18 ended up getting Apple Intelligence, and it's a really cool feature set, but I will tell you, there's a lot of iPhones that are not supported in this feature, and it kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. But here's the thing, you can still emulate a lot of those features on unsupported iPhones. In fact, on an iPhone 15 running iOS 17, or even an iPhone 10 on iOS 16, you can still emulate a lot of these features, and I'll kind of demonstrate it. Again, it's not one-to-one, -one, but there are some key highlight features that Apple kind of showcased here, like the Image Playground, Genmoji, and even like the ChatGPT integration, which there's still a lot of ways to kind of simulate a lot of those things. Now, the first thing you can kind of see is that, you know, just right out right out the gate, the Apple Intelligence thing kind of does focus a lot on their texting and their texting to Siri, messaging to Siri, but also their ChatGPT functionality. The big thing here is that you can download the ChatGPT application right inside of your iPhone. So you can actually just go through, literally just use ChatGPT as you normally would. And this is an easy way of just integrating your iPhone into this particular thing. Now, it doesn't stop there. Right? You can just download this application, install it, and you can just you know use it as you normally would like any other application. But the other thing is, is that there are so many Siri shortcuts enabled through this particular, through ChatGPT. So you can make your way into your shortcuts application, and you can actually drag in ChatGPT into an actual functionality. So there's ways that you can use an iPhone 15 Pro if you have one of these buttons, or even if you have another iPhone, where you can go ahead and invoke your action button or invoke a certain thing. And you can go and just get ChatGPT to come up. In fact, on iOS 18, we have the capability of editing our front toggles. So what you can always do is go ahead and tap into your lock screen. You can go ahead and just delete one of these toggles right here. And you can just bring in an actual application, which is an open app right here. And you can go ahead and open up that Siri shortcut app. And you can go ahead and get that to open up ChatGPT right there as well, which is another option you have. So although it's not built in one-to-one, -one, it is an option that you have. And it is an easy way of kind of integrating ChatGPT instead of your particular iPhone. Now, the other things Apple did kind of state were essentially with their image playground and Genmoji. Now, there are lots of AI applications out there that also will allow you to kind of do this and get the same type of feature set. So if we go and get back into our app store, and if we just type in AI image generator, there are a ton of AI image generator applications out there. Wonder is one that I've been using. I used it for a little bit. Their ads are very annoying, but you can go ahead and use one of these types of applications to start emulating and simulating some of these particular images. This one is another option. As you can see, this one's built on ChatGPT4. You can generate images within it. You can do a whole lot of stuff within these types of applications as well. And although it's not like perfect, it is still an option that you have, which is really, really cool. So I would recommend going through here, finding the particular application that might work best for you. Personally, for me, it might actually be this one, although Wonder is the one I use kind of more. This is another option that you have, and that's an easy way of kind of emulating and once again simulating that particular feature, the you know image playground, and you can even make your own emojis within it too. Another cool thing that you can always do is if you want to, Google has their own emoji you know creator. So what you can do is you can just Google combine emojis, although it's not creating your own custom emoji, it is kind of close. So you can always just go on Google, type in combine emojis right here, and you can click get cooking, which is right here. And it will allow you to go ahead and kind of combine two different emojis to get this new custom emoji that you basically have. So this emoji doesn't really exist. It's just a combination of these two. So I went to, I can click here and I can go and get these two to combine. And you can see this is what it looks like. I can go and change this one into this one. And you can see there's a lot of options that you have here. So if you want to, you can go and just kind of get crazy with it, do whatever you want to here. And you, whenever you want to, you can just click on the copy button. You can copy it like you can do here and just paste it. And you can send that as an emoji or whatever type of image that you want to. So that is an option that you basically have. And it's funny because it does actually send. It's kind of funny. Um, those are basically the main things that I could see that you can emulate kind of within Apple Intelligence on your particular iPhone, on any supported iPhone that's available. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.